Hi, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my sewing room. Have you ever wondered how to use your serger when you're sewing on stretchy knits to put an inseam pocket in? Inseam, like this, right here. I'm gonna show you how I do it. And if you like that, please subscribe. Hit the like, leave me a comment, I would love that, and come back for more. I do a sewing vlog every Friday, so if you like to sew and you just wanna chat with a sewing buddy, come back on Fridays. But for the inseam pocket on stretchy knits using a serger, let's get started. This is the armhole and the side seam. And what we're going to want to do is line those up, right sides together. And this is how we're going to figure out our pocket placement. You should have markings from your pattern where your pockets are going to go. And so noting that, go grab your pocket pieces and let's put them where they're going to go. Now you, you want these right sides together so if you try to put them incorrectly you'll see that they just won't they just won't fit. See how it's not right sides together? So right sides together place your pockets utilizing the markings from your pattern and then Using clips, attach those. Now you can go ahead and attach your other pocket with clips utilizing the markings, but what I like to do is line them up so that I know for sure that these are gonna go together when I finish my garment. So just stack that pocket right on top of the other pocket and then bring your other side down and line it up. And now that they're all lined up, go ahead and clip the other pocket, just those two pieces. Okay, now they're all clipped. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to look for the end of each pocket. And then on the side piece of fabric, we're going to take the scissors and we're going to make a little snip. So it's right above the pocket on the fabric that is the side seam. And we just make a little snip about a quarter of an inch. It could be a little bit bigger than this one. I made it a little small, but you don't wanna make it too big that it might get into your seam. So just a little snip. And this is gonna keep, uh, this, uh, keep a place where we can just search the pocket and not the whole side seam. So what we'll do when we get to the serger is we're just gonna fold this side seam out of the way so that we just sew the pocket only. All right, so there's our little snip. Fold it out of the way and then you wanna serge the pocket to the side seam. I use my clips as a measurement. It's about a little bit close to a half an inch seam, maybe a little smaller on my pockets than I normally do, but using the clip to kind of hold it helps. Okay, now fold that piece out of the way so you don't catch up that side seam. And there it is, your pocket is serged on. Looks good. Now it's surged to your garment and what we wanna do is press it. So we're gonna to press towards the pocket. Just gently on the correct setting for this fabric, you wanna just do a light pressing. Not a whole lot of movement, just press. All right, now that's done. It's time to put our two sides together. So you wanna lay this out with the pocket out Right sides together, we're gonna to do our side seam. So line everything up, take your time. Let's 
Let's use some clips to clip the whole side seam together. I like to start at the top and bottom to kind of anchor the whole thing. With stretchy knits, it's a little bit of finagling to get everything just so. And once you get that pocket laid out, one of the things you need to look for is where the pocket is attached to the to the garment because you pressed it forward towards the pocket and you want to clip that so that it stays that way when you're sewing your side seam. So just kind of get everything lined up and then clip that pressed part towards the pocket. Same thing here, We're, we, there's the little notch, line it all up and then make sure your seam is pressed towards the pocket and clip it. That way we'll sew it that way. Now that it's all clipped, we're gonna take this to the serger and we're gonna sew all the way down around the pocket and all the way back down the seam. And you'll wanna duplicate this process on the other side. So now we're at the serger and we're gonna serge the side seam and we're just gonna go all the way around that pocket. And I use the clip as my measurement for about, just about a half an inch and I hold the clip till I get there and that just helps me stay at the same amount of my seam allowance. Now here we are at the pocket. You're just gonna go around it. So just come straight down and start to turn. It doesn't have to be a sharp turn, just a gentle turn. We're gonna fix that later. But you wanna just include all the way to that side seam and down around this pocket. So easy. Okay, we're gonna turn again, just a gentle turn. Go ahead and get to that side seam and keep going just a little bit and then start turning. And then come straight down. Now just do the same thing on the other side. This is, of course, speeded up. I just, I just wanted to point out that when you get to that pocket, you wanna make sure that your seam is turned to the press toward the pocket like we clipped it. Just double check it when you're there surging. Okay, now we have our side seam and we've curved around the pocket and we're gonna make a little stitch, straight stitch, about an inch up on each side from the seam. So that's gonna make the pocket lay flat. So here we are at the sewing machine, and we're going to take that pocket, we'll start right in the seam, just a straight stitch, and we're gonna come down to the pocket and go about an inch past the pocket. You can decide how far past the pocket you wanna go, but start in the seam. And then just come straight down. And when you get to the stopping point, you wanna go back and forth, just a little. Back it up a little bit, and there you are. And now we're gonna do the bottom part. So this is the opposite. You're gonna start about an inch up and do your little back and forth and then end up in the seam. So it's the exact opposite of the top.
And there we go, just end up in the seam and you're, you're done. Okay, so now you have your, your little one inch. Go ahead and trim your threads and we're gonna, next we're gonna press it. So take this to your ironing station and I'm gonna show you how to line it up to get this perfect side seam. We're gonna press the entire seam towards the front. Hey, if you like my little portable ironing board that I made, I've got a video on that, so go take a look. So this is the front of my garment, and so this is the direction I want my pocket to be laying as I lay this flat. And then we're going to press that entire seam towards the front. And you don't really need to do anything more than actually press with the iron. You don't need to move it around and sort of try to iron, do more pressing. So get that whole seam facing forward, facing to the front. You can feel it. And once you get it just right, time to press. and that'll just set it. And there it is, beautiful. Good job. Inseam. Very happy. So that was easy, right? Everything should have pockets. Pockets, pockets, pockets. I'm all about them. And this makes it easy to get them in there and still use your serger. I just love it. And if you want to see this cardigan, it's by Style Arc. I'm going to be posting shortly after this video, a video all about it and how I made it and the pattern, all the info. So uh, check back and see when I post that. I hope this video helped you. I'll see you next time. Bye now.